The idea that everyone is equal is sheer nonsense, there is no need to comment on the inequality of human beings from a naturalistic point of view because it is self-evident. Egalitarians admit that human beings are not equal in practice but claim that all humans are equal by right. That is to say that humans are by nature equal and should be made equal to restore this natural right. The basis of this idea is the belief that inequality is unfair and equality is fair. The merit of this ideal allegedly consists of not accepting inequality, overcoming it and treating everyone equally. Proponents of this ideal proclaim the moral superiority of equal rights and equal treatment. It is not a noble ideal but something that if taken seriously becomes a logical absurdity, wherever this view becomes an established trend it ushers in regression and decadence. The inequality in the world is explained by the fact that everyone is inherently unequal. That which the egalitarian ideology wishes to portray as a state of justice, is in reality a state of injustice. To recognize inequality is to transcend quantity and admit quality. If everyone is equal then human beings can only be conceived as an atomic unit or as a mere number. You may have heard the humanist expressions, we all bleed red, and, we are all human, I do not deny that there are in human beings some aspects under which they are approximately equal, yet in a normal view these represent not the plus but the minus, in other words, they correspond to the lowest degree of reality, and to which is least interesting in every being. To value these aspects and to emphasize them is like regarding as paramount the marble found inside statues rather than seeing each one as an expression of distinct ideas to which marble has supplied the working matter. The true quality of a person comes from the quality of his spirit and not as being a mere human individual and the mere element belonging to a mass or to a social aggregate. This person is an individual who is differentiated through his qualities endowed with his own face, his proper nature, and a series of attributes that make him who he is and distinguish him from all others, in other words attributes that make him fundamentally unequal. The general characteristics of being human such as belonging to a given race, nation, gender and social group are the marble from which an individual differentiates himself. Any vital, individual, social, or moral process that goes in this direction and leads to the fulfillment of the person according to his own nature is truly ascending. Conversely, to give emphasis and priority to that which in every being is equal signifies regression. The will to equality is one and the same with the will to what is formless and empty. How strong the egalitarian ideology is is an index of how strong the forces of degeneration are. This is how we should think about the so-called noble ideal and immortal principle of equality, 